<laughs> the fuck with this fuck this evening. <laughs> this recent trend in Caribbean picket, where they just concluded T20 series between the West Indies and Bangladesh, the first match was played in St. Kitts, and the other two were played in Florida. The new CPL T20 League starts this week, and of the five home games to be played by the Jamaica Tallowers, two will be played in Jamaica, and the other three will be played in Florida. So the authorities of the West Indies Cricket Board and of the Jamaica Tallowers Management are saying to hell with the local fans is money we are dealing with. <laughs> Take a little one or two game, but the big primetime weekend games are going to Florida. What a disrespectful slap in the face of the local cricket fans. And look, outside of the blatant pissing of the fans, they are also selling out home advantage for a few extra dollars. You realize that the West Indies won the first game in St. Kitts and lose the other two in Florida. <laughs> you cannot have an international team and a Jamaican franchise team and then play the majority of them home games in a foreign country. It is wrong. <laughs> Furthermore, you all realize that it's the same T20 cricket that them cost every day. Say so it's not real cricket and blah, blah, blah. Them realize. Say so it's the only format that still appeals to the fans. So is it same one them sell out to Florida? Why them don't carry the so-called real cricket, five-day test match cricket to Florida and leave the local fans with the boogie and the cricket? <laughs> <laughs> it is me alone. When I'm giving a little one or two token games here, is them alone down there watching. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, boy, can they tell us that the Maverick begs them to bust this evening. <laughs> 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 <laughs>